Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Today I'm going to show you how to restore a Bitcoin wallet uh, on blockchain using your seed. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, so uh, I have some other videos where I show you how to install uh, and set up a blockchain wallet. Uh, I have videos on how to do it in the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. And uh, I have a video on how to restore from seed uh, to the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. But you can also do that with a blockchain wallet. Now, blockchain is an online wallet, but it does have that recovery feature. Now, uh, it doesn't force you to create a seed when you uh, start your wallet uh, by default. So I'm going to walk you through how you will create a, that, that type of seed uh, for recovery purposes. All right, so let's jump in here. Uh, I'm just going to walk you through the whole process of creating a wallet on blockchain. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, www.blockchain.com. We're going to create a free wallet. Okay. And uh, it just remembers my email, but you'll type in your email. Uh, you'll create yourself a new wallet here. So now we've got the wallet created, and as you can hear, I just got a little email over there. Now uh, you can start moving Bitcoin in and out of this wallet right away. You know, you could send a request to somebody, uh, email it to them. Uh, you can move manually move Bitcoin from one of your other wallets into this wallet. Uh, it's it, you know it's a great, very convenient, uh, very secure wallet to use uh, online. But uh, let's say for whatever reason you forget your password and you can't get into your wallet anymore. Uh, so uh, before you start playing around too heavily uh, with any of this, uh, you want to go to the security center over here. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is verify your email. So I'm just going to roll back over here to Chrome and as you can see I got this email. Uh, the most recent one, it wants me to verify the email. So I'll say yes. And as you can see over here in the other browser, uh, that the email address got verified. And so that's the first step in security. Now, in one of my previous videos, I show you how to go through all of this security. But here's the important one here. We've got to the backup phrase now. So we're going to click this blue button here. And we can do this print print recovery sheet and save this PDF right uh, I've done it already but I'll just redo it here now that you save this PDF you can go over here and you've got this Bitcoin recovery sheet here uh, and it's a nice sheet of paper that you can print out and have and hold and store in a very safe place if you ever need to recover your wallet okay and I highly recommend writing that out uh, or printing that out because it's uh, very nice neat and uh, clean all right so uh, it's gonna walk you through this uh, setup of the uh, wallet seed and I'm going to just jot them down here for demonstration purposes Okay, you want to make sure that you get these in the right order. Go to the next five, uh, four words. Got uh, now this may seem like a bit of a tedious step, but believe me, if you have some Bitcoin in a wallet and you can't get into it. That's the worst feeling in the world. And uh, these uh, seeds will allow you to get access to your Bitcoins, even if you've forgotten your password. That's the beauty of them. Okay, and then the final step here is it's gonna ask you to verify a couple of the words. Four to be exact. 
And there we go. Now we've set it up. Okay, so now uh, we've got access to this uh, wallet. Now, as you can see, there's no transactions. The balance is zero. Uh, but uh, you can request funds. You can uh, send funds from one of your other wallets or your friends can send you Bitcoin. You may set this guy up as uh, like a donation uh, thing for people to send you bitcoins, uh, small donations uh, for your blog or your website or anything like that. And it's a very secure way to store and access your bitcoins. But uh, let's say that the, the horrible happens, right? And you can't get back into this wallet. Okay, so let's go through that scenario. All right, so let's say uh, that you, uh, want to get access to this thing you go back to the original email that you were given you click on the link and lo and behold you cannot remember that password and you've tried and failed and uh, you're in dire straits because you've got like you know ten dollars worth of bitcoins in there or you know hundred dollars or a thousand dollars and uh, so what are you gonna do uh, unfortunately with Bitcoin um, it's very harsh in that it, it is only tied to the person holding the private keys and that would be you and uh, but it has no identification so if I lose my ATM card I can go to the bank and I can show my ID and say I'm Rex and uh, they can give me access back to my bank account you can't do that with bitcoins they're not tied to your ID in any way so it's vitally important that you uh, keep track of your password and uh, your seed in case you ever lose your password. All right, so, okay, I can't get into my blockchain wallet. I've tried my password. And down here it says view options, okay? Now this is the key here to getting access back to this wallet. So we go to view options and we have a couple of different things here. Uh, remind me uh, with the email address so you may not remember the wallet ID. As you can see back here, it was pre-filled. Uh, but let's say you don't even remember the wallet ID that you, uh, you know, it can send you an email uh, to show you uh, your wallet ID if you put in your email. Huh, that's assuming you remember the email that you used to set it up. But let's, uh, we're talking about seeds today. Let's do recover funds with a seed. All right, and uh, you know, I wrote everything down here. So let's just go through that process. So we're going to add each word in order. I have to be very careful because I was slap dash doing this. For demonstration and my writing was a bit messy so you want to make sure that when you do these that you have written these down very carefully so that there's no ambiguity with the letters okay and as you can see as soon as I put in that last word uh, I got the continue button so uh, now okay now that we've entered the seed uh, they're gonna want to give us uh, you know we're gonna set up the email again I'll use this same password that I used before uh, the, the crypto dad email at gmail Oops. all right and then I'll create a new password see that's the thing it doesn't have to be the same password you used uh, before because we're assuming that you've probably uh, forgotten this password so don't freak out when they ask you for the password. They're asking you to create a new password here. All right. And 
yes I understand and yes please recover my funds and boom it's going to take you to the login page shortly there we go all right so now you have access to that wallet again and I did not hear there it went okay so uh, now that you've uh, recovered these funds and as you can see the my balance is zero but had you had any funds in there they would uh, that you would see your balance again uh, it has created a new wallet ID for you and as you can see here I've gotten a new email and uh, there it is that's the new wallet ID okay so uh, you're, you're going to want to remember that. All right. Okay. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. But like I said, uh, with uh, the blockchain wallet, you're going to have to manually create that recovery seed in the security center. Okay. Now, if you do this again, it's going to generate a new one, uh, so you don't want to do that. But once you have those uh, and you've printed them out and saved them, this is basically uh, just like a stock certificate or even like uh, it's basically money. Once you move um, uh, Bitcoins into this wallet, uh, so you want to keep this in a safe place. Uh, you want to be able to get to it in case... Uh, of emergencies and uh, you know put it in a safety deposit box or you know in the safe in your house wherever but that's the way you could uh, recover your Bitcoin wallet in case of emergency so once again thanks for joining me guys uh, I appreciate all your support like this video if it helped you get your bitcoins back and subscribe to my channel if you want to be alerted every time I post a video. Uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.